Hello everybody, in this video I talk about connective tissue. Uh, this video is a short video concentrating on the classification of connective tissue and uh, the location of different types of connective tissue. For the detailed histology of connective tissue, there is a different video. Uh, so this video is concentrating only on the classification and location of connective tissue. As you know, there are four different types of basic tissues. One is epithelial tissue, the second is connective tissue, third one is muscle, and the fourth one is nervous. So we are concentrating here on this uh, uh, type of tissue, the connective tissue. Here is the classification of connective tissue. You have three uh, uh, main ones. You have connective tissue proper, fluid connective tissue, and supporting connective tissue. The connective tissue proper is divided into loose and dense connective tissue. The loose one has three types, loose alveolar, reticular, and adipose. The dense connective tissue has dense regular, dense irregular, and dense elastic. Fluidic connective tissue is divided into blood, lymph, and interstitial fluid. Supporting connective tissue, two types, one is cartilage, the other one is bone. Cartilage again has three types, hyaline cartilage, fibrocartilage, and elastic cartilage. Bone, there are two types, compact and spongy or cancellous bone. So let's talk about the connective tissue proper two types, two main types, one is loose, the other one is dense. Loose, it means it has a lot of ground substance, a few fibers, dense means there's a lot of fibers, and less ground substance. So loose divided into loose areolar, reticular, and adipose connective tissue. Loose areolar, as you can see in this image, you can see these um, collagen fibers, and these ones are elastic fibers and um, they are located in the wall of hollow organs for example gastrointestinal system and respiratory system and also you can see it in the dermis of the skin papillary layer of the skin reticular you have these fibers these short and thick fibers and uh, they are mainly in the solid organs so in the spleen liver kidney lymph node uh, but also you see it in around some blood vessels and around nerves, so for their protection. Adipose connective tissue contains uh, lipids, so these are uh, cells, adipocytes, and each one is filled with uh, lipid or fat. So you see that in the hypodermis of the skin and also around the organs for their protection and support and insulation. Dense connective tissue here is a lot of fibers there. So the dense regular means that the fibers are running parallel to each other. Parallel to each other. And these are fibers are mainly collagen fibers. And you see them in tendons and ligaments. Dense irregular, they are going in different directions. Some of them are going like this, some are like that way and some of them coming toward you or away from you so the different directions and they are seen in the reticular layer of the skin in the joint capsule and the capsule of solid organs like kidney and liver and spleen and dense elastic it has a lot of, a lot of elastic fibers these dark fibers that you see these are elastic fibers they are wavy, they are thin. They, they are seen in the large blood vessels, for example, in the aorta. Uh, so it, it can expand and, and reduce the size of it or diameter of it. You see it in some ligaments. Also, you see it in uh, male genitalia, the penis. A supporting connective tissue, one is cartilage, the other one is bone. So in general, uh, um, cartilage is made of chondroblasts, they are young cells, and chondrocytes, they are mature cells. 
and they are located in cavities so it's not the cavity is not shown here properly uh, it's, it's around uh, the cell so there's a chamber or a cavity and that's called lacunae each one is called lacuna and uh, multiple cells are there so that is a feature of uh, cartilage there is three different types one is the hyaline cartilage which is strong but also flexible uh, so um, this is the hyaline cartilage um, you see a lot of contour sides the background is more or less homogeneous you may have a few fibers here and there and uh, the location uh, very common location is uh, the epiphysis of um, bone so in the synovial joints and movable joints uh, you see that in the sternal cartilage uh, so between the connection between the ribs and the sternum in the nose and also in the airways fibrocartilage is the strongest type of cartilage it has a lot of fibers and these are the chondrocytes that you see uh, so where do you see it? Do you see it in the discs? So for example, in the knee disc, those are called menisci for a stabilization of a joint, uh, in the vertebral disc, and also in the pubic symphysis. And elastic cartilage, this is a very um, flexible, not a strong, and you see it in the ear and the epiglottis. The epiglottis is in the larynx and it has these fibers these elastic fibers they are darker in color and they are going in different direction and these are the chondrocytes bone or osseous tissue uh, they are made of osteoblasts they are young and osteocytes they are mature cells and they are made of these layers so these are the layers each layer is called lamella lamella is the plural form and these are the osteocytes okay so they are located in the lacuna similar to cartilage you have this osteoclast and that's the one that destroys the bone and that makes uh, you know increasing calcium level and um, there's two types so there's the compact one so the compact one is usually in the shaft and the spongy one are the trabeculates are here and the epiphysis in this area and this is uh, looks like a trabeculates the branches of a tree the other one is uh, fluid connective tissue so the important one is blood blood is made of two parts one is a liquid part is plasma so this background that you see this is plasma and the form elements which is three types one is the erythrocytes okay lots of them uh, leukocytes there are five of them so you see only one of them here and the platelets which are these are the small ones this is fragments difficult to see not much in this image and, and this is for clot so erythrocytes are for uh, carrying oxygen leukocytes are immune cells and platelets are uh, helping with clot formation and the second type of fluid connective tissue is lymph so that's in the lymphatic uh, system and the third one is interstitial fluid which is the fluid between the cells So I hope you liked this video. If you have any question or comment, please write it in the comment below and I will try to respond to it. If you like this video, please subscribe to it because I will um, make new videos and you know I post it all the time. And uh, please share this video with your friends and um, thank you for uh, watching. Until next time.